everybody, Peeves here. Hope you're having a good Zelda month so far. All the way back in 2011, when I first started Zelda month, the very last video I uploaded was the top 10 Zelda games. I'm not sure it's a stretch to say that this is one of the worst top 10 Zelda game lists on the internet. And unfortunately, when you search top 10 Zelda games, it's one of the first ones that shows up. I should be happy about that, but I'm not. Yes, the finale for the very first Zelda month ever. I did this video. This video, a video I apparently thought that people would like. I was excited to do this video. Here's why I shouldn't have done it. I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous about this. It's been a while since I've watched this video all the way through. But we're gonna do it. It's a personal try not to cringe challenge. We'll see how long I can last. Classic normal boots intro there. That's uh, some nostalgia for you. I'm starting off my list with Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess at number 10. So we're already off to a good start here. I've honestly heard a lot of people say that this game sucks and it's the worst Zelda game ever. Who was saying that Twilight Princess sucks and is the worst Zelda game ever or whatever I just said? Who was saying that? If anyone, I was the one saying that back then. Honestly, it's by no means a bad game. It's just not that great. Twilight Princess, not that great. Said by George Washington himself. Twilight Princess is not that great, says... The guy who put Wii Ski and Snowboard on his top 10 Wii games. Twilight Princess, not that great. A quote from... A guy that's real stupid and doesn't know anything and has a dumb face. And he's dumb. That probably pretty much sums it up. I have two major problems with this game. One, it tried way too hard to be dark, but it wasn't dark in a unique way. It was dark in a just blackish kind of way. Where are the colors? First of all, great edit. Second of all, not a very good criticism. Let's be real. Honestly, this was a pretty ballsy move for me. Twilight Princess, number 10, not that great. Reason number one, here's a sh part of the game that has the shadows and it's nighttime. Yeah, that was, that's it. It's a freaking clown show up in here. And two, the world was huge, but I felt no incentive to explore it. <sighs> okay, this criticism was a little bit better. I, I don't really agree with that anymore, but I think I at least know what I was going for. The world in Twilight Prince is really large. But I mean, you, you have a Pona, you can run around as a, as a wolf, it doesn't really matter. And plus, I don't, I, there, there are lots of other things to do other than, other than the main side. The, the world is naked or whatever I said. It doesn't really make much sense. Not only did I 100% underrate Twilight Princess, uh, I also didn't do a very good job of explaining why I thought that. I remember most of the comments were people complaining about Twilight Princess, and rightfully so, to be fair. And also, I feel like this is a good time to announce that I'm going to be doing a Twilight Princess video to make up for this terrible top 10 list. It's gonna be the last video of Zelda month on the 30th of the month, so make sure you check it out uh, when when I upload that and maybe I can redeem myself a little bit. I've been streaming through the game on Twitch recently and I have to say, uh, spoiler alert, my opinions are not exactly the way they were back then. That's all I'll say for now. And now for another Zelda game that's bashed quite frequently, Zelda 2. Oh yeah, well guess what? Now this is happening. Zelda 2 is better than Twilight Princess. Can you um, unsubscribe from yourself? Just just asking for a friend. Sure, it's ugly. Sure, sometimes it's more like a Final Fantasy game than a Zelda game, and sure, Death Mountain is complete balls. Sure, it's not very good. Sure, nobody really likes it very much. Sure, Zelda 2 killed my family and everyone that I love, but it's still better than Twilight Princess. Definitely. I was so determined to hate on Twilight Princess for some reason that I decided to do it the injustice, the, to insult even my own integrity, to put it under Zelda 2. I don't know why, this guy is just hilarious to me. Hello, I'm a dragon. Oh, here I am. Hey. Oh, you killed me. <laughs> Not only does this video have terrible Zelda opinions in it, it's also just not even that funny. If it was entertaining, it, I feel like I would be okay with it. Even if I had the worst opinions of all time, if, if it was, if it still held up, if it was still funny, there were some good bits in it, I'd be fine with it. But it, it doesn't even have that. I should delete my entire channel. I think I will. 
I know, I know, A Link to the Past is really popular with a lot of people, but for a Zelda game, it just never did much for me. Okay, I will still die on this hill. I really don't care that much about A Link to the Past. I wanna cause some drama. A Link to the Past, not even in the top 10. I'm sorry, I'm gonna Dang. say it. I'm gonna say it and regret it later, but I'm gonna say it now. <laughs> She's a very, very good girl. And she says, Link to the Past is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I know some of you 30-somethings are gonna be real upset about that. I mean, it's still a great game, of course, but personally, I don't understand how it's some people's all-time favorite in the series. Different strokes for different folks, I guess. I think it has a lot more to do with the fact that I didn't play it when I was a kid. Uh, I, I didn't really play any Zelda game until Ocarina of Time. I know for a fact that that's the reason why, but I don't care. I, I have to have some bad opinions still. I'm keeping my bad opinion on Link, on Link to the Past. I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to. That drug on infinitely too long. And what is the payoff? See ya. A poorly edited bomb joke. All right, I know these games aren't technically the same, but for the sake of this list, I'm putting them together. The Oracle's games, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. I put the Oracle games above Twilight Princess? Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, it's still slightly less offensive than Zelda 2, but I mean, come on. Did I even really think that? Did I even really believe that at the time? Or was I just super freaking stubborn and was sticking by my initial opinions of Twilight Princess? Because I said, hey, I was like, I don't like Twilight Princess that much, it's not that good. And then everybody's like, PBG, you're stupid. And I'm like, uh-uh, I'm gonna prove you to you. I'm gonna put Zelda 2 and the Oracle games above the Twi Twilight Princess in the top 10 list. That'll, sh that'll show them how wrong I am about everything. The Oracle games are fun, though. I, I would honestly love to see uh, the Oracle games remade in the same way uh, Link's Awakening was. I think that would, that, would, that would be cool. I'd be down for that. The one that started them all, the original Zelda for the NES. There's none of that pesky story business. You start the game, talk to the creepy old guy in the cave, and bam, you're off. Time to start exploring. I still agree with this one. It's easy to recognize how good the original Zelda was. Actually, pretty Breath of the Wild shares a lot of similarities to the original Zelda game, where you just kind of kind of throws you out there, and then you kind of go whichever direction you want. Uh, it's it's funny how it kind of came full circle like that. I still love Link's Awakening. I don't think I'd, ha I'd have it at number five. I, I think I overranked it a bit, uh, slightly because of nostalgia possibly, but Link's Awakening is still a very good game. And hey, there's this Switch version now. Go check out my Switch, Switch video, by the way. Why is Link's Awakening a good Zelda game? Because it has Mario enemies, that's why. You got boos, shy guys, and even Goombas. Okay, I think one of the reasons why I really don't like this video is because I took such a serious topic, my top 10 favorite Zelda games, something that, that me, will mean a lot to a lot of people, and I kind of did my normal top 10 style of just sort of talking about stuff, not really caring, not really giving any specific reasons why. Why is Link's Awakening a good game? Because there's Mario enemies in it. I didn't, I never took my top 10s that seriously. I mostly just wanted to have fun with them, which is fine, but then if you do a top 10 list, like top 10 best Zelda games, you're gonna have to give a better reason than that. And I didn't. So even the Zelda games that I still would place highly, I, I didn't give good reasons for why they're there. So, you know, that could be a good or bad thing based on what you watch my videos or anyone's videos for. I, I always care more about having fun than like giving detailed opinions on stuff. But hey, if you're gonna do goofy videos, then maybe don't pick such a serious topic. That's all I'm saying. Link's Awakening always had a unique charm to me. It was the first handheld Zelda game to ever come out, and it's by far my favorite of the bunch. I don't think I had played Minish Cap at the time, which I think I would put a little bit higher than Link's Awakening. And also, Link Between Worlds had not come out at this point. Link Between Worlds is, I hinted, hinted this in the last Zelda Month video, definitely the best handheld Zelda game. I don't think it's really even that close. Although, there are two other really good ones, Link's Awakening and uh, Minish Cap. And, uh, you know, and the Oracles games are good too. I'm not, I'm not hating on those. And yeah, that's, that's every single Zelda handheld game that there is. Don't need to think about it, any other ones. They're, they don't exist. Especially not that one. Here's one that I'm sure might surprise a lot of people. Yes, Ocarina of Time. And yes, only at number four. 
And yes, I am slightly crazy, but for many more reasons than just this. I forgot that I put Ocarina at number four. I felt like this was a fairly controversial opinion, especially for the time. People back then in 2011 were very often uh, listing Ocarina of Time as the best game ever made. And I mean, some people would still say that. I wouldn't even strongly disagree with that. My list was meant to be more of my own personal preference, uh, as opposed to what I thought were objectively the top 10 best games, clearly, based on some of the stupid things that I said. Either way, I actually still think that Ocarina of Time is definitely not my top three. It's definitely not my top three favorite Zelda games. But if I was gonna say the best ones, It'd be up there, it'd be up there. But uh, who cares, right? Ocarina of Time is not even on the top 10. How about that? That's my new tier list. Ocarina of Time doesn't even make the list. I don't even remember what it, my name is. Now for real though, Ocarina of Time is definitely really good. I just wouldn't put it in my top three. Especially, well, you know, I don't even know where I'd put Breath of the Wild. Maybe we'll talk about this in a little bit. Wind Waker? How could you put this game so high? Look at the graphics, they suck! Oh. Wind Waker at number three. Man, I actually don't agree with that. I think I might put it higher. Just saying. Yeah, it's weird looking back on uh, old videos about Wind Waker because at the time it came out, especially before it came out, it was a very popular opinion that the graphics were bad and that they were kid, it was like a kitty game and nobody would like these new cartoony graphics. No one thinks that anymore. I was actually right about that at the time. I thought that it was excellent. I was so excited for Wind Waker. I used to watch the freaking, uh, the freaking trailer for Wind Waker on my dial up internet connection, like three or four seconds at a time. And I just be like, But yeah, I was actually right about something uh, back then. I, I'm right sometimes, you know? Sometimes it can happen, just not very often. Yep, Skyward Sword at number two. I honestly like it that much. Okay, this is definitely the other one that people complained about because just like I disliked Twilight Princess when it first came out, a lot of people disliked Skyward Sword when it came out. This always seems to happen. There's always a bunch of dissent on new Zelda games when they come out. It's funny to see the reactions and not just the reactions at the time, but how those reactions change over time. It wasn't that long ago when everybody was hating on this game, but now I don't hear people hating on it that much. If anything, I feel like people are, are getting kind of nostalgic for, for Skyward Sword now, and they want to see, like, uh, people, oh, can you, people ask me if I can stream Skyward Sword. I mean, I, I, I've been personally wanting to replay Skyward Sword again. I went into Skyward Sword with as blank of expectations as I possibly could, and I ended up being very surprised at just how much I enjoyed the game. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed I created an entire Zelda month for Skyward Sword because I was so excited, and then I had the gall to be like, I didn't even know if it was gonna be that great, and I was actually surprised at how much I liked it. What am I freaking talking Talking about. The first thing I loved right off the bat was the relationship of Link and Zelda. Finally, I actually cared about Zelda as a person. I do really like uh, Skyward Sword uh, Zelda. I, I still think that she's one of the best Zeldas. Anyone who hates on Skyward Sword Zelda, I'll fight you in the comments. No, I'll just delete your comment. How about that? <laughs> I was honestly worried about how the motion controls would work, but honestly, I really enjoyed them. I still know some people who prefer the old school controls, and I'm by no means saying that I think full motion controls is the way of the future, but for this game, it works. This is one of the most polarizing uh, things about Skyward Sword. Some people didn't mind the motion control combat. I kind of liked it, except for the whole running around thing with the sword. That That's a little, little, little bit awkward looking. But the actual combat of the motion controls, I thought was fun. I really enjoyed it, especially on some of the boss fights. I don't know, it seems to be one of those weird things where some people just, I don't know if it's like a technical limitation or like maybe they just not, they they don't like, I mean, I, 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 The main town of Skyloft, however, obviously had a lot of time put into it. And I had fun finding all the different side quests and things that it had to offer. Skyloft really was such a cool Zelda area. If I was doing a top 10 Zelda areas list, which I'm not gonna do as it sounds kinda weird, I would put Skyloft at number one, almost certainly. The re it was the most disappointing thing about the game was that everywhere outside of Skyloft was kinda bland. 
But Skyloft itself was so cool. I always loved coming back from dungeons to go back to Skyloft, see if there was some new side quest I could do, or maybe freaking what's his face is like doing push ups or something. Maybe creepy monster guys hanging out with that little girl some more and they want me to do something about something. That was, I mean, that was always the, my favorite part of the game, was just coming back to Skyloft. I don't know what that says about the rest of the game and the dungeons in the world outside of that. I, I, I actually did like the dungeons. Okay, again, though, it's been a while since I played uh, Skyward. Store. I need I need to play it again soon. Number one, a big surprise if you know me at all. I'm sure a lot of you saw this coming, Majora's Mask. Man, if I had put Skyward Sword over Majora's Mask back then in December 2nd, 2011, I might, I don't know what I would have done. Uh, man, I would, that would, this would, that would be the one thing that could really make this video even worse. Luckily, I didn't do it though. Majora's Mask, still at number one for me personally. No, I know that's not a huge surprise. I, it might be, it might be for some people, now that Breath of the Wild is out, but, but Majora's Mask is still, uh, my favorite Zelda game. I mean, it's my favorite game in general. I don't see that ever changing, really. So yeah, that was my top 10 Zelda games. I have to say, the list is kind of awful. It's really not very good. I think I must have rushed it. I, I, I mean, I released it December 2nd. So I was I was probably trying to get this video out pretty quick to try to get to the end of Zelda month. I mean, I didn't even have any live action in the video, which is weird for me, even at the time. But yeah, I didn't explain my picks very well. The video wasn't funny, and also, the, the ordering, ordering was just bad. Like, you can't, you can't put Twilight Princess at number 10 under, under Zelda 2, put Skyward Sword at number 2 when it had just come out, when everyone was kind of like, not so sure how they felt about Skyward Sword at the time. Ocarina of Time at 4, uh, the fact that Minish Cap wasn't on there, I would definitely put Minish Cap on, on now. You can't put these bold opinions in this video, and then back it up with Nothing. <laughs> like, like there's not a lot of colors in the game, okay? <laughs> My current top 10 Zelda game tier list, in, in, without thinking about it, in 30 seconds, go. I have to start with number one, just to make it easier. Majora's Mask, Wind Waker. Ooh. People, people aren't gonna like, people aren't gonna like this. Twilight? No. T mm, Twilight Princess, Link Between Worlds. Ocarina of Time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Skyward Sword. Uh, M Minish Cap. Link's Awakening. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Zelda 1. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Oh, destroy me in the comments. I I wouldn't, I, I have to think about it further. That, that's not my real list. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm sorry, Breath of the Wild fans. I know, I know. I'll have to explain myself at some point in the future. I don't know if I'll ever do another actual top 10 Zelda games because my opinion on Zelda games are always changing. So I hate locking my opinions into stone and then being like, these are my favorites. Because in like two years, I change my mind. And then it's like, it's on the internet. So it's like, it's like an official thing. And I don't want to really make an official list, especially for Zelda, because it's, it's my favorite game franchise. So I don't, I don't like listing which ones I like the most. Uh, you know, it, it, that's why I just did it a second ago. So that was my old top 10 Zelda games list. Don't watch it, it sucks. Uh, yeah, but you should watch all my other Zelda videos. Check those out. Uh, <laughs> and check out the Twilight Princess video I'm gonna redeem myself with. Uh, at the end of this month. Let me know in the comments if your opinion has changed about any particular Zelda game over time. I know that tends to happen. I'd love to see some. I'll respond to some of the comments uh, below. And I gotta go finish the Twilight Princess video, so I'll see you guys next time. Hit the like button, watch more Zelda videos, and uh, check out my streams where I'm playing t through Twilight Princess. Bye-bye!